Hi everyone and welcome back to Chess for Charity. In this video, I'm going to show you something that you've probably never seen before. I'm going to show you a puzzle that it was composed by a computer. So the computer in question here is Chestica version 12.38. And this is a puzzle generating computer. It's an incredible thing that I really want to share. It's not mine. I saw this online. I just want to share the amazing puzzles that I've seen from this computer. I'm going to give some information about that in the description. So if you're curious, check that out. But my question to you, can you solve this computer generated puzzle? It's checkmate in exactly two moves, not mate in three, not mate in four. Can you find the checkmate in two here? So it's white to move. And I'll show you here, the pawn is going down the board for black. So not this way. They're not looking to promote. Instead, they're going down the board. And your job is to find the checkmate in two. Try to see if you can figure it out. While you're thinking about that, let me quickly encourage you to subscribe if you have not yet already. Half of the income that I earn in this channel goes directly to charity, so it helps me out so much if you subscribe, and it's greatly appreciated. Okay, let's get into it here. So it's kind of cool that a computer made this, right? Look at this rook, look at this king. Let's start kind of examining the position. The first thing I saw was this rook and how it's cutting across and making a little rectangle here. Wonderful. This rook, it's got a lot going on, has some potential, but not really doing anything at the moment. This bishop, I thought about maybe these moves, maybe here, maybe here. Okay, how do I find the right move? How do I discern the right move? Well, one thing you have to look at is where this king could go right now. It could go to d7, it could go to e6. So one thought I had right away was, what if I play bishop f5? That cuts off these two. That'll force the pawn to move. And if the pawn plays e5, I have mate. And that's all true. But unfortunately, the pawn does not have to play e5. It can play e6 and I no longer have this mate. Instead, best move is to play bishop e4. It'll still be mate, but it will not be mate in two. It'll be mate in three. Okay, so good idea, but it doesn't quite work. So what other ways can I go about doing it? Maybe I have to play a quiet move, maybe something like this, try to force the pawn move. doesn't really work because the king has some moves here. So I like the idea, doesn't quite work. What about something with the king? Do I move the king here? Well, no, because that's not going to save me when it comes to black's defensive resources. And this rook, it doesn't seem to do anything. I can take this pawn, but this is not going to result in mate. It's just going to be a longer win. So what is the winning move here? If you want to take one more moment to see if you can figure it out, go ahead. Okay, the winning move. The simple move. It's a really nice, quiet move. Bishop to e8. And what I really like about this move, remember, this was composed by a computer, which I just think adds a whole other layer of coolness to this. This bishop move cuts off d7 and f7. And I say f7 for a moment, you'll see why. So black has three legal moves. They can play either king e6, they can play pawn e6, or pawn e5, right? This is the first move of the pawn, so it can go up two. If the king plays king e6, this bishop is perfectly placed, blocking off these squares, and I can play rook g6 mate. This rook swings across, that rook swings across, and this bishop is doing just enough isn't that a nice configuration? It's mate pretty much in the middle of the board with nothing, no opponent pieces right around the king. Kind of cool. Okay, what if the king does not go here? What if instead they play e5? Well, if they play e5, now this square, which was their out square, is now occupied by their pawn. And this is mate. This bishop is supporting the rook. And this king cannot run away to the only square it could have ran to if that pawn was not there. Kind of cool how that works. And of course, this rook is cutting across the seventh rank. Okay, so what about e6? Well, now if you give check in this direction, the king can run to e5. So instead of doing it that way, super cool move. Rook that's on g7 plays right to d7. Ouch. That's mate. King can't go anywhere. Completely blocked off. Look at that. So those are the three moves, and they're all countered by three different checkmates. And like I said, 
This was composed by a computer. If you're interested in that stuff, I will have the information in the description. There are plenty of puzzles generated by computers. I've never seen them, so maybe it's just new to me. But if you enjoy it, let me know. Feel free to like the video, subscribe. All that stuff helps me out so much. But that is it for now. Thank you so much. Bye.